uh, another interesting day in the office. Um, yeah, we had a pretty good run uh, through most of it, only really dropping time, I think, on uh, on Mount Roland. But um, again, it was a bit uh, daunting trying to drive through the the fog over the top there at, um, to on the on the big straights at over 200k an hour. So um, aired on the side of caution there, and uh, had to slow down for a, where a car was uh, near blocking the road there at one stage, but probably uh, backed off a little bit more than all the other guys did. But the rest of it was really good. So. Apart from uh, coming across old mate Closey, who'd uh, had a bit of a altercation with a bank, um, so yeah, that wasn't wasn't really pretty to uh, to come across a good mate hanging out of the bank. But um, but yeah, he was he was okay. He had a broken hand and um, and uh, sore back and whatnot. So we uh, we hit the old SOS on the rally safe and uh, got some attendance to him pretty quick. And uh, hopefully we'll see him uh, down the finish for a uh, for a beer later on. I never end up with a little one fired up. All right, mate, we're good. Right. Jason, why tell us about day four? Uh, another interesting day in the office. Um, yeah, we had a pretty good run uh, through most of it, only really dropping time, I think, on uh, on Mount Roland. But um, again, it was a bit uh, daunting trying to drive through the the fog over the top there at um, on the on the big straights at over 200k an hour. So um, aired on the side of caution there and uh, had to slow down for a where a car was uh, near blocking the road there at one stage, but probably uh, backed off a little bit more than all the other guys did, but the rest of it was really good. So, 
apart from uh, coming across old mate Closey who'd uh, had a bit of a altercation with the bank. Um, so yeah, that wasn't wasn't really pretty to uh, to come across a good mate hanging out of the bank. But um, but yeah, he was he was okay. He had a broken hand and um, and uh, sore back and whatnot. So we. Uh, we hit the old SOS on the rally safe and uh, got some attendance to him pretty quick and uh, hopefully we'll see him uh, down the finish for a uh, for a beer later on. Yeah, now well, tell us about it, like, what, what were you doing? You coming in hard and you suddenly saw him? Or? It was off, for, I don't know whether he, he missed a call or, or what might have happened there, but um, but to sort of crash there, it's a very, very tight corner, so he, he definitely wasn't ready for the for the actual corner, but he said he actually lost it on the on the one before it, and then the other one sort of got him by surprise. But uh, you know, it's hit a bank and then climbed right up the bank a, a good way, and then rolled over and come back down onto the road. So, but yeah, it's good to see them both out of the car, and uh, you know, he was he was out in time to wave us down because we were the car uh, directly behind him as well. So, so yeah, it's um, yeah bad bad situation and uh, shame to lose him out of the uh, out of the top three because I think he was only five seconds off uh, off Quinny. He was taking good chunks out of Quinny all morning and. I think he might have had a, uh, a pretty good plan of, uh, of attacking him on that stage and, and grabbing that second spot. Yeah, good, certainly good. Now about you guys, so how's it running with the car? Really good, yeah. Yeah, we're sort of, uh, those big long touring touring stages, you sort of uh, got the ears peeled and you're sort of listening to every little creak and rattle and little vibration that might sort of pop up, but there's not too many of them, so we're just, uh, we're both sitting there quite, uh, like I say, ears peeled and, um, and hoping no, no little noises do pop up and it's, uh, the car's running like clockwork, so it's, uh, we just give it a bit of a tub now and uh, put it to bed for the night and um, hope it gets us to Hobart tomorrow. Now, it was about two minutes lead tomorrow? About two minutes, I think we had a real good crack on the last two stages as well because um, we weren't sure what sort of a drive time that we'd get for the Ryana one because we had stopped for, uh, for Closey, but um, I think we've pulled nearly 20 out on one and we've um, just put a new record on for over over Mount Black so uh, it was good to that was mainly dry and you don't usually see Mount Black um, dry no. I think the old record we actually had in an old three uh, 300ZX years ago when uh, John and I first started together and it's it stood stood all this time because um, you've just never struck it in the dry but uh, yeah so we had some good fun over there and uh, I used to come and do a fair bit of work down the mines down here so uh, albeit only in a Mitsubishi canter truck sort of driving backwards and forwards there I was sort of uh, quite familiar with the road so yeah, so it was a good finish to the day and sort of got that little bit of a buffer that um, hopefully will make it easy for us tomorrow. So that's planned plan to take it, you know, still stay hard, but take it a lot bit more easy? Yeah, certainly, you certainly can't cruise, you know, if you, if you cruised and Quinny attacked and, uh, you know, if he took a second to K out of us, well, there's going to be two minutes there pretty quick, so there's still a lot of Ks to go, but um, but no, we'll keep on keep on pushing on, but uh, but yeah, not try not to take any risks and, uh, like I say, hopefully the, uh, the car will just uh, stay in one piece and behave itself and uh, get us to the finish. Well, one day to go, let's hope so. Let's hope so, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Ah, good on you, mate. No worries. Go hard.